In this video, I want to give you a quick intro into the code that actually is in play over here that makes your form work. There's a couple of things going on. We have some some just regular HTML that you should be familiar with and we have some other hidden elements that are doing background things like sending out the form. So let's take a quick peek at the code and see where it starts. Now if we start right where we have a, the line comment from Responsomatic where the form begins we the first we have two two lines of comment and then the very first actual working code is this form uh, in code type, the ENCTO. And what this is actually doing, just this line over here, is from here on end, this begins our form. So any form begins with the form tag, as you see here. The next value is in code type. And this is basically just, uh, just telling the uh, server how it's going to encode the data that it's sending over. It gets a little more complicated, but for the most part, you don't need to know. You don't need to know any more than that. The next thing we have over here is the post method, and that's basically how, uh, in PHP, how this thing is going to send over that information. There's the two main methods are, are get and post. So this form is going to post this information over to. Um, to this action over here, which is, as you see, mail.php. Mail.php is a PHP script that's doing the the actual sending of the email. I mean, you got to think of it. This form, the form we have here, is receiving this information, and then it has to. Well, I'm sorry. We're we're receiving information, and now we're sending over that data to be sent out to us as an email. Well. This part of the code, I mean, this part in here, which is a very c complicated piece of code, is basically going to interact with the server and say, you know, please send the following information to this email, do it this way, and that's something that um, is is quite complicated. Um, and then at the last thing over here is just a character set, UTF-8, and that just letting the server know what kind of characters to expect to receive from our from our data so um, that we're, we're gonna be changing this form later on to be more accessible because right now it's made out of tables and there are some values that we can edit and some we cannot you cannot well you can edit part of this data but you're just gonna potentially break your form so uh, you don't want to mess with this line of code and then if, if we go down and this is just a little bit of uh, commenting that I put in here um, actually just so I could refer to it while I'm making this uh, while I'm making this screencast so you won't have that but right below that you're gonna have three more lines of code inside a div tag and these are actually hidden elements that you can't really see on your um, in Dreamweaver on the form and if you look in Dreamweaver's design view you kinda have these references over here that it's just a hidden field and I'll take the time right now to explain what exactly this is now the first line of code says input type hidden and now it has some some interesting stuff over here it says name ID and value now just look at the name and kind of try to get an idea of what it says. So name equals ACCT ID. Well, that means account ID. Basically, this line of code over here is just is just telling, setting. The, what, so Responsomatic is a is a big service that has a lot of different users on it. Once this form is sent out, once this data is sent out to this particular script that's going to start generating the uh, the email and everything, this mail.php. It's these next three lines down here that are going to target our particular account. So the first thing is the first thing this line, uh, this piece of code saying is, this is the following account ID, and here's my account ID. So this to the server means this is my account. The next thing, uh, the next field over here is form ID. Now that's referring to that form we created on the website. Again, this is some kind of internal value that they have. It makes sense to them, not to us. I mean, the only thing that it makes sense to us is we know what it's doing, so we're not going to mess around with it. 
and the last line over here is and you just look at it it says the name of this of this uh field is uh required underscore vars variable so basically this is telling everything that we're requiring from uh to be filled out in our form now if you recall we we want we require the the following first four questions the name email your profession and your b name we didn't require comments to be filled out in order to submit this form and if you look at this code there are four yeah there's the name email address this field dash some big number uh, or whatever big characters over there and then another one field dash something else so this is requiring these four fields um, we could actually just take out one of these fields so if we didn't want now this is something we can edit um, if we didn't want all four of these fields to be required what we could do is just take the reference out of this so if I took out the last field over here the last field name I'm making an assumption I'm pretty sure that it would mean that what is my B name wouldn't be required anymore I'm kinda going in order you know it says name email I'm assuming this is the profession and I'm assuming this is the B name question potentially I mean if I really wanted to figure it out I could I could um, you know experiment take the field out try not to fill it out and submit it and see what happens but I'm I'm almost clear that that's uh, I'm almost positive rather that that's what it is